So hello everybody and welcome to solution day 6 of 25 days of Dax Riders challenge. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go down below, check it out. If you want to participate, it's never too late, even if though we're in day 6. Are you stuck on day 6 challenge? This is the video for you. Let's get started. So the question for day 6, it was, what is the average order size per customer? All years, all customers. Okay, so first we're going to calculate it without DAX and then we will do the DAXing as always. Okay, so how do we do this without DAX? It's a little bit more complicated, but everything is possible to check. So, what we're going to do is we're going to create a table that contains the customer name. You can have customer ID also, but the customer names are unique in Northwind, so you can use actually customer name. I find it a little bit more friendly to use names than IDs. So we have the uh, customer name, then we're going to get the order ID. So we know how many orders each customer has made, and then we need to know how many products in each order. So now we need to add product ID from the order tables, okay? So we get product ID, and we want to have the count. So how many products was included on each order for each customer? This is the table. And what we need to do is the average of these. Obviously, we cannot do the average like that here. So what I've done, I exported it to Excel, is here. And then I did the average of column C, OK? And the solution is 2.6, 2.6. So now we need to do the exact same thing, but with DAX. How do we do it? Let's go back to Power BI. So to do this in DAX, we need to do the exact same thing. We need to create that table that we created now and then do the average on the table. So how do we create the table? We're going to go to modeling. We're going to go to uh, probably better to do it from here. So you can see the new table right away. So we're going to summarize, because we're going to create a table that summarizes the orders table, right? So we want to have the, the table that we created with DAX, we want to have it virtually. So this is the orders table, we want to have the order ID, and we want to have the count of product ID. So product count, that's the name of the new column that we're going to create, to create that is calculated. So this is the count, of product ID. So you can see the table here. This is every order ID there is on our table and how many products that order contains. Now we want to grab this table and we want to do the average on product count, right? So we're going to copy this DAX thing, copy it. We're going to our measure table where we're putting all our measures, day six. I only do this with this exercise, just so you know. Now, we're going to cal calculate the average of what? What table? Is the table that we just created. So the average of the, that table, I mean, I think it's so confusing that for calculate, you put first what you want to do the, the table, but for all the x functions, you do the way, like, Anyway, so get this summarized table and do the average of product count. You see it there? This is exactly the same thing that we did there, but we're doing it with DAX, that's all. So we're going to put day 6 in there, and hopefully we get 2.6, okay? Isn't it easy, right? Now, now when you know how to do it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, again, let me know. Are you enjoying? How many rights have you got? How many wrongs? I will see you again on day seven tomorrow. So 25 days of that Fridays. Crazy. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow.